Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web, and in this video we're going to be painting the cars from Coke Marvel Crisis Protocol. We're going to be using blue, light grey, olive green, and white. And we may throw in a few more, like black for instance. So, we'll start off with olive green, and we'll put a little latex glove on to make sure we don't get paint on over our hands. <laughs> and we'll start off with this car. Now, we're going to paint this one the green colour. So we'll uh, get the green in the airbrush and cover the car in green. We're just doing the bodywork anything else is overspray uh, I'm just basically wanting to block in all the colors from the bodywork not the windows um, but obviously because it's a spray um, there won't be a little bit of overspray but don't worry we're going to be sorting that out as time goes on so we're going to cover every little thing on this car um, now we're going to do the blue one as well but um, for the purpose of the video I'm going to show all the details that I'll be doing on the green car which is this one and um, I'll show you a photograph of both cars at the end however I do start off with the airbrush for the blue car I'll show you on the airbrushing on that because something went ever so slightly wrong and uh, I want to show you how I fixed it so that's why we're doing that so we're just blasting everywhere on the car the wing mirrors don't forget them um, I'll just keep going every now and again you may see a little um, skip or some such that's where I've paused the video and uh, cut out some waiting time so if you see anything that's the one second and um, gone the next well it's that's that's the reason now having a little bit of trouble today with the uh, brush I'm not sure whether I just wasn't concentrating or or what but every now and again you know, like you'll see the it's pooling a little bit and running um, it wasn't too bad on this one I managed to get away with it but on the blue one well just keep just watch and find out what happens so we'll uh, just do this door now and all the bodywork and uh, make sure you get into the uh, wheel arcs, arches, whatever you want to call them um, because you want them body coloured, you don't want them uh, different colour um, well I don't anyway, if you want them to have a different colour then fair enough I'm not telling you how to paint, I'm not telling you what to do when you're painting yours I'm telling you how I'm painting mine and I particularly want uh, self-colored um, wheel arches. So, let me carry on and carry on. I'm trying not to make it patchy on the top because I wanted on a solid colour, but I'm having trouble trying to not make it patchy. Again, I'm still new to um, airbrushes. So I've probably done something wrong or I'm doing something wrong. But uh, put that down for a second. What we're we doing here now? Oh yeah, we just had to top up a little bit of the green in the airbrush uh, because we're running out slightly. So I'll put a bit more green in and we're back in business. So as I said, we're making sure that we get all the colours that we need or all the areas that we need this colour. Um, being this colour and there's nothing really much I can say other than <laughs> um, keep watching we will be moving on shortly um, now I'm not as I say I'm not sure whether I was just not concentrating today or whether my head was just wasn't in it or what but um, so I was having a few problems with the airbrush while I was actually using it. Uh, but that's, we're going to add a little bit of yellow into the green just to try and lighten the uh, 
roof up a touch. It didn't seem to work terribly well, but how ah, well, you live and learn. The yellow was a little too transparent, I think. I should have popped just a spot of white into the green or just used a different shade of green, I don't know. But, ah well, never mind. Um, what I did, I did the last, or the end of uh, this video. Um, sorry, when I'd finished this video, I decided to do something else on the roof of the car and uh, it didn't really work, but I'm not fussed. Um, I'm trying to make this one look as though it needs a wash, so <laughs> I'm not really too fussed about any defects on the car in the paintwork. Um, you'll see what I did later on to make it a little more dirtier, or to make it look as though it's been through uh, dirt and mud. Well, yeah, I'm quite happy with the green colour on this one. Um, so that now we've done that one, let's go over to the blue one. So we're painting it blue and that's the colour we've got for the paint. So here we go. And we blast. Oh, what happened there? Well, what happened there was it came out in very watery. It just sort of like splashed out to press the um, lever on the paint. And the arm that seems to be coming out is clear is clear water. Um, I'm not sure what's happening because I did dry it before I continued. I just mustn't have dried the inside of the uh, of the nozzle. But we'll keep trying until it starts working. And now it started working. So we'll do exactly the same with this one as we did with the green one, except with this one we'll do it blue. <laughs> So we're trying to get it a flat blue colour all over. I uh, don't want it looking patchy. So uh, with this one I'm trying to do it a little lighter and then start building up the colour. But you'll see what happens in a moment. Um, this is going to be a two part video because the whole painting session, uh, this bit and then when we complete on the airbrushing stages, when, once we get into the brushing, the whole video took about two hours long and um, I've cut out gaps in this and I've sped it up so this video lasts about 25 minutes, 20-25 minutes, something like that. Um, but here is where it starts going wrong. As you may see in a moment, there we go, it started running the just behind the front wheel arch. Um, we've just got a pool of paint come out and just, I tried to focus it all into the creases but it didn't quite work as well as I'd hoped. So that's where it started going wrong. Um, but rather than uh, stay clear of that bit and let it dry, I decide I'm going to try and push it, push the paint into the creases, and then realise I'm not doing in, not doing in myself any favours. So I carry on down the rest of the side of the uh, car. I'll come back to the front to so do the front wing, onto the bonnet, and. Oh, look at that. If we're, <laughs> if we're painting watercolours now, that would be what you'd call cauliflowering, where the paint actually mixes with the water and spreads. Um, I was stuck a bit there. I just didn't know what to do. But I thought, beggar it. We're carrying on. We're carrying on. So... Um, we'll go over to the back of the car now and try and get as much done of this as we can and hope and take it a bit slower and hope it actually does okay from now on um, and indeed it does um, in fact I think what I did um, I'd forgot to put my um, water trap my inline water trap on so I've put that back on and hope, and it seemed to be a lot better now. 
but I decide to keep trying to paint over the bonnet and that doesn't work. Um, I've realized that it, it doesn't work but um, let's just try and just carry on with the painting and this is the reason I've kept this in is because I did it wrong and I want to show you that as a learner I'm doing things wrong but I found a way of actually correcting it so bear with me with this um, it is going to stay blue don't worry I'm not changing colour I'm not deciding it's going to be black instead <laughs> paint over everything um, I'm carrying on with it being blue I'm just going over the wheel latches as you can see there I'm not worried about getting any of it on the um, wheels um, so quite yep just check it's dry and it is dry so I get an emery board out and try and sand it down a little bit to get on the lumpy paint off uh, the, that's about as much use as a chocolate fire guard it's it's as yeah the effect is as welcome as a fart in a spacesuit it's not pleasant um it doesn't work then the care decides to fall off the stand so it's a case of putting the blue tack back on and hoping it stays and now we can go back with the um with the painting and it's looking as patchy as a rocker's jacket you know it's it's you know it's definitely not right on that front part so i'm going to continue with the back of the car in fact no i'm not i'm going to change i'm going to go back to the uh, green and do a little bit more on that so what i'm doing here is i'm masking off around the uh, windscreen um the wind the window at the front of the car because it's the biggest window on the car so i want to mask off and use the airbrush on it um so i'm going to show you how, what I, how i'm doing the windows here um so make sure it's all masked off and it's nice and all nice and straight so you're not getting any of the paint from the window onto the main body of the car ideally should have i've got the narrowest bit of um what you call it masking tape that i've uh, that i have but i should really have cut it in half or something like but now we're Oh, missed a bit just patch that there we are sorted now we're going to use the black and we're going to patch on and if you saw the emery board vanish there that's because there was a cut uh, split in the video so we're going to paint the entire window black um, now later on I'm going to be showing you how I'm highlighting this so reflection um, I mean, I'm not going to do any major reflections in it. It's just going to be very basic, but just to show how I'm making it look as though it's light on glass. Hopefully it works. I'm quite happy with the effect. But you'll see what I mean uh, in a bit. So make sure this is a very flat black. We don't want this being looking patchy or anything once it were very smooth and very black now i'm going to go over the um the wheels now i'm not trying to get the tires i'm trying to actually get the the forks in the wheels um i just want to make them black because i'm going over with a little bit of a different metallic paint later on um Oh, and one thing I did miss is on the video is painting the um, the grills on the front of the car. I forgot all about that, and it was only after I'd thought I'd finished the blue car that I realised. So um, I just painted them by hand with um, a metallic black, which looks rather nice. But then again, saying that you're going to see the photographs um, at the end of the second 
video and uh, the second video is going to be concentrating on the brush work that we do and now we're going back to the blue car yep it's dried it's not looking good so what I do is I bring out the little plastic tub and pop some of the blue paint in that just a little bit and I'll get my brush and I'll start brushing the paint on um, I thought I'll try this way it didn't work terribly well I wasn't happy with the effect that it gave it looked incredibly streaky incredibly patchy um, not pleasant at all it was then that I had a brainwave at least I think it was a brainwave it was either that or indigestion I'm not sure but we use a brush cleaner to clean paint out of the air brushes I wonder if it'll strip this down a little bit so that we can repaint it hmm so that's what I did I put put it on as you can see me doing here um, anywhere on the car that I wasn't happy with which is just basically the bonnet and the uh, the side of the car door or the front of the car door where it goes up to the um, you know that slanting bit just uh, to the right of the or just in front of the um, wing mirror I'll take that off as well because again that looked a little bit patchy that was the first part that went slightly wrong I really should have stopped and done something with my brush when I saw that happening but yeah, well you live and learn as I say I don't think I was in the right frame of mind for doing this today I was trying to keep my mind occupied um, we've had some bad news over the last couple of days or well yesterday to be honest um, we've had a, two losses in the family so I was trying to keep my brain occupied and I wasn't in the right frame to do this so we go back to the blue we apply it and it looks okay I'm happy with the effect it gives it looks flat it looks smooth it doesn't look as though it's it doesn't look patchy at all so there we are now I know that if there's any ever a time when something like that happens and I can't deal I can't do anything with it just put on a little bit of the airbrush cleaner dab it off with a paper towel and then repaint it I didn't think that would work but it did <laughs> so we will carry on with the blue car um, I think all I showed with this blue car is just this next bit I don't think I actually showed any more um, it was only the um, what you call it just basically painting the bodywork blue um, I was going to try and get it both done but it was taking up too much time and then when that happened I thought well it's taking up too much time so I thought I'll just do the green one and when and looking back at the video I thought I'm going to leave that in um, where the uh, where you had that mistake and how I got out of it so that it might help anybody else who's in the same position who are learning how to do air brushing and making a mess <coughs> so what are we doing now um, I think this is the part where I get the green car back and I start doing the reflections in the window well in the uh, windscreen so just making sure that it's black that it's all fully black and it is and we're adding a few drops of light grey into the black and we'll just do a little diagonal line across the from bottom to top to bottom of the um, windscreen and then we'll add a few more drops of grey paint and we will 
do a little bit more make it brighter but further up we're not covering the first gray paint and now we're using white we're adding the white into the gray to make the gray much paler and uh, there we are and then we will come back again with just plain white for the last step of this so that's it for this part of the video I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that little tip with the um, airbrush cleaner helps but for now um, that's all there is so we'll see you in the next video finishing off this car